As the government chief medical officer, Professor Brendan Murphy was at the epicentre of Australia's COVID-19 response during the first wave of the global pandemic. Brendan's advice to close our international borders saved tens of thousands of Australian lives. His calm appearances in daily press conferences helped many understand COVID-19 and how the virus would take hold in our communities if we didn't act appropriately. I was determined to save the Australian people from what we saw in the rest of the world and it's been the most privileged thing I've done all my life. Brendan provided clear guidance to all Australian governments, state and federal, on shutting down of businesses and potentially dangerous social activities. We've been an incredibly unified community this year, politically, uh, socially, in every aspect, and it has been uh, a collective success story. He led the charge in introducing physical distancing measures which have become a part of our daily lives. Professor Brendan Murphy, your 2021 ACT Australian of the Year. The terrifying bushfires in the summer of 2019 to 2020 were some of the worst the country has seen. Throughout this difficult period, Australians were reassured by the strong, empathetic leadership of Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons. Shane followed in the footsteps of his father, George, a full-time firefighter who was tragically killed in 2000. That human spirit, that volunteerism, uh, that's what inspires me and inspires me every day to know that our communities are much better because we've got people who give so generously of themselves. After working in a range of leadership roles in the organisation, Shane was endorsed as Commissioner in 2007, preparing him for what was to come. Throughout 2019 to 2020, he guided a statewide response with a 74,000 strong crew of mostly volunteers fighting hundreds of fires across New South Wales. We've seen absolute devastation and damage and despair and indeed we've seen extraordinary tragedy uh, with the loss of 26 lives in New South Wales from the bushfires alone, seven of which were our, our frontline firefighters and four volunteers. But in the backdrop of such adversity, uh, we've seen an extraordinary generosity, an extraordinary human spirit. Shane is now the leader of Resilience New South Wales, a new disaster management and recovery initiative. Shane Fitzsimmons, your 2021 New South Wales Australian of the Year. Dr Wendy Page has spent decades improving Aboriginal health outcomes for the communities of North East Arnhem Land. Wendy's work is focused on eliminating a parasitic roundworm prevalent in Aboriginal communities across Northern Australia. One of the hardest things with working in this area is the reality that Aboriginal people die early. So when they talk about closing the gap, it's a real gap. Her efforts have drastically helped reduce the prevalence of a disease called strongyloidiasis in local East Arnhem Land communities. Recognising the need for greater focus on this disease, Wendy now mentors young doctors so they can continue the good work in the top end. The NT is an amazing place to be and it's the communities, it's how we collaborate that, and work together, work, work together side by side that makes the Territory what it is. Dr Wendy Page, your 2021 Northern Territory Australian of the Year. Dr Janesh Palapana became the first quadriplegic medical graduate and medical intern in Queensland, despite facing numerous barriers. Co-founder of Doctors with Disabilities Australia, Dinesh works with the Australian Medical Association to create national policies for inclusivity in medical education and employment. I've always thought that helping people and making a difference in their lives is what I want to do and what I want to spend my life doing. Dinesh is a highly active member of the medical fraternity, working as a doctor for the Gold Coast Titans Physical Disability Rugby League team. He sits on multiple committees for disability advocacy and was a witness to the Disability Royal Commission. I think it would be um, an amazing platform to just show what someone could do if you give them a chance. And I hope that it inspire all Australians with different abilities and different backgrounds to chase their dream. 
His significant contributions to scientific advances in treating spinal cord injury and restoring function to people with paralysis has been recognised with numerous awards, including Junior Doctor of the Year and the Order of Australia. Dr Dinesh Palapana, your 2021 Queensland Australian of the Year. As the first Indigenous person and only the second woman appointed to the Australian Football League executive, Tanya Hosh is a sporting powerhouse. Tanya's leadership results in transformative change. She championed the first Indigenous player statue of Nikki Winmar and helped secure an apology for Adam Goods from the Australian Football League. You can't change things on your own. It takes a community, it takes a whole society, and if you get the opportunity to use your voice, it's only by working together for the things that matter that any change happens. Through the Indigenous Players Alliance, which Tanya helped create, she has enabled women to speak up about unacceptable behaviour on the field and has proudly introduced a gender diversity policy, a world first for a contact sport. Tanya's impact is felt across the entire community. She's also pursuing constitutional recognition of Australia's First Nations people. We do still have to tackle the discrimination that still exists in a lot of the systems that drive the world and certainly still impact on the life experiences of a lot of people. In 2020, Tanya drove a hugely successful social media campaign aimed at informing and protecting Indigenous communities from the effects of COVID-19. Tanya Hosh, your 2021 South Australian, Australian of the Year. From age 15, Grace Tame was groomed and then raped by her 58-year-old maths teacher. After the conviction and incarceration of her abuser, Grace was prevented from speaking out about her experience due to Tasmania's sexual assault victim gag laws. Working with the hashtag Let Her Speak campaign, Grace won the right to publicly self-identify as a rape survivor, becoming the first Tasmanian woman to do so. Recognising and normalising the act of speaking out. There's no shame in surviving and there's no specific way to address survivors other than with love like you would love anybody else. She now passionately advocates for survivors of sexual assault, in particular, those who were abused in institutional settings. Um, I don't think it was really a conscious choice. I've just always wanted to help people and I truly believe that when we share our stories and when we listen to each other, we connect as human beings. Grace has taken her own traumatic experience and used it as a means of ensuring others have a voice. Grace Tame, your 2021 Tasmanian Australian of the Year. Australia's first Indigenous doctor, Professor Helen Milroy, is a pioneer in research, education and training in the mental health of Aboriginal people and in particular children. Helen has used her cultural models of care to support the Aboriginal and medical workforce. You can't grow up as an Aboriginal person in WA in the 60s and 70s and 80s and not be struck by the contrast that you're exposed to. And I think throughout my life and my career, I have seen both the frailty and the strength of the human spirit. Her expertise was acknowledged with her appointment as Commissioner for the Australian Government's Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse. Look, we've got to stand up for the kids, we really do. And I think that it's a really hard thing to understand, but children are no more immune to the challenges in mental health than adults are. Helen is also a talented artist and published author and the first Indigenous Commissioner to the Australian Football League. In 2018, Helen received the Australian Indigenous Doctor of the Year Award, recognising her many achievements in the medical profession. Professor Helen Milroy, your 2021 Western Australian, Australian of the Year. Donna Stolzenberg's simple idea of handing out donated sleeping bags to people on the streets in need has evolved into a nationwide charity, the National Homeless Collective. Donna channels her lived experience of overcoming homelessness and hardship to run this grassroots Australian organisation. 
We've created a system where the entire population of Australia can help us to help people. If you've got something that you can offer, then we've got someone who needs it. The Collective provides targeted support for countless people affected by homelessness, domestic violence and social disadvantage. It also runs Carla Space, an op shop employing women affected by these challenges. A proud Indigenous woman, Donna's generosity and resourcefulness have been felt across the entire community. We can mobilise very, very quickly. We have an army of volunteers, but we're often not heard. And the causes of homelessness have changed so much in the last 20, 30, even 10 years. And we have to start listening to the people who are affected now and start changing the way that we respond to homelessness. She has recently helped a wide range of people from those affected by bushfires to the people impacted by the Melbourne Housing Towers lockdown during the COVID-19 emergency. Donna Stolzenberg, your 2021 Victorian Australian of the Year.